YouTube, what's up today guys? Uh, today we're gonna be going over chatter baits and I wanna show you guys the different ways that you can tie them on and uh, just tell you guys a little bit more about um, the chatter bait and, and how you can use it to be effective uh, when you're out bass fishing. So, you know, what is a chatter bait? Um, you know, it's a combination of a little shiny spinner bait um, and it gives off a vibration with this blade in the front um, as it swivels back and forth in the water. Uh, so it's pretty much giving you the flash and shine of a, a spinner bait, but you're getting the vibration of a crankbait. Uh, it gives off the appearance of a small fish. Um, you guys can see right here, this is the trailer that I'm using uh, when I'm fishing with the, the chatterbait. Um, it's the Strike King Rage Swimmers. And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of success with that setup. Uh, mostly, uh, you're just gonna have to choose your collar and there's a ton of different trailers that you guys can use uh, for chatter baits. So, uh, why are they so versatile and effective? Well, you know, they're very versatile because uh, you can fish them off of the bottom of the water column. So you can drag them along at the bottom uh, and just pop it off the bottom uh, if you think that the, the fish are going to be deeper that day, um, you can fish it in the middle of the water column, uh, you know, just giving it a couple cranks, pausing, um, and, and letting it kind of just uh, make the appearance in the middle of the water column. You can also fish it on the top. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of success doing it, but it is something that, that uh, does give off a good uh, appearance on the top of the water if... Uh, you're fishing it right so um that's just and like this is pretty much the the go-to lure for me if i'm fishing a new spot or um, murky water it's great in murky water uh, because you can choose different colors so if i was fishing murky water i'd probably fish with this darker uh blue and black um you know the fish are able to see it a little better but uh the the cool thing about is the uh, the blade when it's in the water it's sitting there making that vibration and you know any nearby fish is going to be attracted to that and uh, I have a lot of success with a, a darker collar and uh, murky water in clear water I like to go to something that has a little bit more shine to it um, you know using the the Strike King uh, Rage Swimmer you know I can it gives off an appearance of a very small fish swimming by and uh, you know, with that vibration, the uh, the bass love to just choke these down. So um, you get a very aggressive bite with them. You know, um, like I said, you guys can use whatever kind of trailer that you want. Um, I just prefer the Rage Swimmers uh, by Strike King. Uh, you know, let's kind of get into the benefits of a chatterbait. Uh, you know, there's there's a ton of lures that you can go bass fishing with, but why would you want to use a, a chatterbait out of any of them? Well, they're mostly weedless because they have the blade on the front here and it will actually uh, deflect like weeds uh, most, most of the brush. Um, so the hook's actually on top and it's, it easily goes over a branch or, or um, some stumps. You know, I haven't had a whole lot of snags with them. So that's one thing that I like. Um, and mossy water, unless it's very, very, very mossy, uh, you're going to get by with it mostly. Um, you know, at every four or five casts, I'll have to clean it off. But, um, you know, obviously it's not going to work if you're casting it straight into um, some moss covered water. If it's a little mossy, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's super easy to cast. It's got a great weight to it. Um, so you can make some very far accurate casts with it and, uh, you know, it's a, it, you know, with the smooth casting, uh, one thing that I like in my lures is, is a smooth retrieve. You know, it's not giving any real funky movements, doesn't feel like I'm out of control. I can feel bites, uh, right when they happen so that I can get a proper, uh, hook set on them. Um, so yeah, I definitely highly recommend this if you're, uh, a bass fisherman, and I think that it'll be a great lure and, and tool for you that will help you guys catch a lot more uh, bass this summer and spring. So um, 
let's kind of dive into how you tie one on. You know, you guys can see here, it's got just a super weird look to it. It's not your typical lure and, and uh, it's not a, you know, a crankbait that has a loop that's super easy and uh, to tie on or a, a spinner bait. But um, so it's got the blade here and then it's got your loop on top of the blade. So you're just gonna wanna take your line find it here and this is just 20 pound uh, braided line that I use and I've uh, had most of my success with that and I always go from the front of the blade so the front of the blade that is kind of it kind of bends down a little bit and I always go straight in from it So you go through the loop and then pretty much from here, it's tying your preferred knot, um, just a basic fisherman's knot uh, works, but uh, you're just gonna wanna pick your collar. If it's a sunny day, I would recommend white. If it's a, it's a murky day, the water's uh, kind of muddy, I would go with something a little darker. Uh, and then you're just gonna wanna pick up some 20 pound braid or whatever kind of braid or, or fishing line that you desire. And then you're just gonna to wanna to tie your knot. So I'm just gonna tie a basic fisherman's knot on this. You know, I haven't had really any break-offs. Um, the hook sets are very easy and I've had a lot of success to, uh, when I feel a bite being able to get that fish in. Most of the time when, when they actually go and bite uh, the chatter bait, they're, they're choking it down. So there you have it. So I got it tied on now and, you know, pretty much it's just choosing, uh, what kind of trailer you want with it. So. I'm just gonna put the, the Strike King uh, Rage Swimmer on here. So when you're putting your trailer on, you're gonna want to grab it by the hook. You're gonna wanna get the skirt out of the way. Make sure it's all out of the way. And then you're going to wanna get your uh, trailer. And a, a good tip that I found is if you kind of line up your, your trailer with uh, where you want to hook it so that you, you're not getting a funky uh, look when you're uh, cranking or retrieving it in. It's not swimming sideways and it's uh, getting the proper action in the water. Um, so I kind of just line it up and I see that the hook comes out to about here. So I'm just going to kind of mark that spot and then I'm going to hook it. Right where I marked is where the hook's coming out at. And then you're just gonna push it over. There's a little uh, notch right here that you're gonna push the, the trailer over with. And that's actually just gonna help it stay on the uh, chatterbait. So just push it over. All the way up to the skirt. And you can see that we've got this pretty lined up now. So this is kind of the look that it gives off. Just a small fish and this uh, paddle in the back will create a really good swimming action in the water. And uh, you know, I feel like, especially when I'm sight fishing bass, um, it's really cool to watch them just hammer this thing. And uh, like I said, the hook sets are easy, so um, that's pretty much it as far as the chatterbaits. Uh, these are both the Z-Man uh, chatterbaits, and I'm going to leave a link uh, to both of them in the description below. And if you guys also want to pick up a uh, pack or two of these Strike King uh, Rage Swimmers, uh, I'll link those down below for you guys to pick up as well. Um, so just make sure that you uh, kind of 
do your research on these. Uh, I highly recommend you guys put, going and picking up uh, a couple chatter baits uh, with the swim swimmers. Um, and I think that you guys are going to have a lot of success and catch a lot more fish. Uh, so just uh, make sure to leave a like and uh, comment below what your, your guys' favorite trailers are. I'd love to check them out and uh, kind of make a video on those as well. So uh, just like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, share it with a friend that uh, might think that this video is helpful. Thank you guys and have a blessed day.